testimony when we go to the Lord. Thank you, praise God, for an offering. Now return to make this service in hand, Brother Bowen. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. We'll all be tonight in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God for blessing us to be assembled together again, having life. Thank you, the Lord, for help and strength to have all of you that are here present tonight. Thank God for all the men that are preaching and teaching the words of truth in the day in which we now live, knowing that we are living in the last dark and evil days according to the scripture. One scripture says we're living in perilous times. So I thank God that we still have a mind to want to do what's right in the sight of the Lord so that we can be saved. For we know according to the scriptures, it's not God will that any should perish, but that all come to repentance. Amen. And that's what God is calling every man woman, boy, and girl, too, and that is repentance. Repenting is becoming God is sorry of all the sins that you have committed. And if you have committed a sin, you still can repent in the name of Jesus Christ and be forgiven. But you want to be forgiven of your sins because we were all born in sin, as the scripture says, and we were shaped in iniquity yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we are grateful to God that we have this chance and this great opportunity to be here in this place once again to give God honor and praise. We'll get started tonight in the name of the Lord. Get Luke, the 13th chapter, and then also get Mark, Matthew, the 7th chapter. Luke, 13th chapter, and Mark, Matthew, the 7th chapter. Let's see what the Word of God says. Let's see what God is telling us how we should do and what we should do. The Word of God is here to give us information, isn't it? Amen. Yeah, it's like, it's like you know, when we go in some place, you punch in Google, right? Mm -hmm. I talk to Siri or somebody, wherever it may be. Yes. Say, how to get to this place or that place. And you trust the information, don't you? Amen. Man, you know, and then if you go the wrong way, it'll tell you to do what? Yeah. Turn around and then start back over. Well, the Word of God is here to give us information so that we, we continue to do what God say. There's a place that the Lord said he has prepared for us, didn't he? Amen. Amen. And he said he's coming back. Amen. Then if we happen to get off the track, then we have to just turn around and start over. Yes. Is that right? Amen. So we thank God for his mercy, his love, and his kindness towards us. But tonight we're going to see what he says about the way, the gate, and which way we should go. We'll start either or. Uh, Joshua, give me Luke. And uh, Corey, you give me the seventh chapter of Matthew. Begin at verse 20. Luke 13, verse 13. Verse 13, 20. Again, verse 20. What it says. And again, he said. And again, you know, something he had said before. Amen. And again, he said what? Where unto shall I liken the kingdom of God? Where, where am I going to liken the kingdom of God? Amen. What is it? It is like leaven. It's like leaven. Which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal. Yes. So the whole meal was leaven. Uh-huh. And he went through the cities and villages teaching and journeying towards Jerusalem. Uh-huh. Then said one unto him, Lord, Lord, are there few that be saved? He asked the question, Lord, you know, is there a few that will be saved? You know, one thing we, we, we all know, everybody's not going to be saved. That's right. Well, it's not God's will that any should perish, but all is not going to be saved because all is not going to want to do and strive to do what God says. Amen. But what did he say? Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that are there few that be saved? Are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, What he said? Strive to enter in at the straight gate. Well, what we should do, well, we know what we should do. We got to strive. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. It's a lot of things that may come up, a lot of things that may try to hinder you. But he said, strive 
to enter in at what? The straight gate. At the straight gate. The scriptures say straight is the gate and narrow is the way. That's right. Everybody ain't gonna just, just fall, come in through the gates. It's a narrow gate. Yeah. It's a very narrow gate. Amen. God got a very holy way that he wants us to walk. That's right. We just can't walk any kind of way. What scripture say? That we should walk circumspectly. Yes, amen. Not as fool but wise. Yes. Redeeming the time because yes, the days are evil, yes. aren't they? Amen. They're very evil. Amen. So if we're not careful, we're going to get tipped off and not even be concerned about our soul. Amen. Everybody got to be concerned about you. Everybody got to soul, our soul. Yes. What scripture says, all souls are mine. Yes. Every soul, everybody belongs to the Lord. He's giving everybody a chance. Is that right? Amen. Can't say you didn't hear it or you haven't heard it. But what he says? Strive to enter in at the straight gate. Strive, strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in. Oh, listen to what this says now. It shall not be able. Many going to seek to enter in. Many gonna seek tyranny in. Oh. And it's not gonna be able. Amen. I wanna go in myself. Amen. I wanna do whatever the Lord ever takes to get in. Yes. You know, we because God, listen, God is not like man. Man will let you slide in. Amen. God is not letting nobody slide nowhere. Amen. We got to come according to his will, according to his way. Yes. He said nobody slide in, it don't matter who it is. We got to strive to enter in by praying, fasting, doing what God says, striving to obey the word of God. Amen. What he says. When once the master of the house is rising up. Once the master of the house is risen up, read. And has shut to the door. And has shut to the door. And he began to stand without. And he began to stand without. And to knock at the door. And knocking at the door. Saying. Saying what? Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Open unto us. You know, it, you know, it's kind of like, you know, one scripture in Amos says, you know, it's like trying to get away from a lion and you run across a bear and you run in the house, lean on the wall and a serpent hits you. You know, it's a fearful thing when you're running from a lion or a, I say a bulldog and you run into your house and you knock on the door, knocking on somebody's door of the door that you know you should be able to enter in and nobody opened the door. That's a fearful thing, isn't it? Oh, Amen. Amen. When he said, what did he say here? Saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. Open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you. What shall he say unto you? I know you not where ye are. I don't even know you. Where you come from? See, God is not like man. Amen. Man will let you slide in. Amen. God is holy. God is just. And he means what he said. Yes. Amen. So we got to be serious. Amen. We got to mean what we are doing. Because we want to be saved. Amen. This is not, this, listen, this is not a game. Amen. This living holy and living like God say is not a game. Amen. Because it's going to come a day Amen. that we're going to meet our creator. Amen. We got to be sincere, be real. Amen. With what we do, we, we fall short. We got a great high priest yes. mm -hmm. yes. that's there for us yes. that can feel our infirmities. Yes. But we got to be real with what we're doing. Hallelujah! Can't take it slight. Can't take it nothing. Some people take it nonchalant as you know. Okay, well, but we got to be sincere mm -hmm. and real about this. Yes. You know how you know how real death is, don't you? Yeah. It's real, isn't it? Yeah. What he said. Then shall you begin to say. Then shall you begin to say. We have eaten and drunk in thy presence. We don't, well, we have eaten and drank in your presence. And thou hast taught in our streets. And you have taught in our streets. But he shall say. But he shall say. I tell you. What? I know you not where she are. I don't know you. You know, we can be doing things, doing things, and you still be doing it in vain. Amen. Yeah, oh, I'm doing, I'm doing this. I'm going to be doing this. Make sure that God is pleased with it. Mm -hmm. That's what we got to be careful about what we do. You just can't say, I'm doing this. We want to make, make sure God is in what we're doing. That's right. Yeah. 
Is that right? Amen. What he says? But he said, but he shall say. What he shall say? I tell you, I know you not when she are. I know you not when she are. Depart from me. Depart from me. All you workers of iniquity. All you workers of iniquity. Sometimes people can pre present themselves as if they're doing the will of God, but inside they have iniquity. They have the wrong thing in their heart. That's why our heart has to be right. Amen. That's why David said, oh, search me, Lord, yeah. and see whether or not there's anything in me that's, right. that's not right. That's right. You got to ask God to search you. Yeah. When every day. Because yeah. the scripture says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, and the heart is the most deceitful thing it is. Yeah. You got to ask God, Lord, show me what's in my heart. Yes. What he said? There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Weeping. Weeping. Amen. Gnashing of teeth. Amen. That sounds like a bad place to be. Yes. But he said, strive to enter in. Amen. It's something, it, this is a life we've got to live and strive to do as long as we're upon this earth. Yes. And we thank God, the Father, through his Son, Jesus Christ, that we have mercy. That we can obtain mercy. We can come before him in prayer and ask him to help us, to save us, to deliver us. Amen. I want to be delivered myself. Amen. I don't want to get caught up in things that church people get caught up in. And, and, and all. I want to have the right love, the right mind. I want to have peace. Is that right? Because this ain't, this, this ain't no game. Amen. Amen. Read the book. What verse you have? 28. Let's hear it. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Uh huh. When ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out. Ain't that something? Mm. You, oh. got, you got to consider what prophets say. Yeah. You got to consider those that were before us. The life they lived. See, this is a life of suffering. We as a people got to realize that it's a suffering way. It's not all together when everything is just nice, fine, and then it's suffering. Right. It's suffering and doing what God say. Living like God say. Denying yourself. Doing the, the will of God and asking God to help you. Is that right? Oh, what else he say? And they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south. And shall sit down in the kingdom of God. And behold, there are and behold, there are last which shall be first. Uh huh. And there are first which shall be last. Is, is, is that all right? Amen. Amen. All right, Corey, let's go to Matthew 7. We just want you to learn to strive. Yes. Seventh chapter of Matthew, verse 13 through 27. Amen. Let's see what it says. Enter ye in at the straight gate. All right, hear what he's telling us again? It ain't no, ain't no crookedness in this, in this gate now. Amen. Enter in at the straight gate. Amen. Enter in at the straight gate. Remember he say strive. Well, we're striving. Is that right? Amen. Enter in at the straight gate. Go ahead. For wide is the gate. Wide is the gate. And broad is the way. Wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. You see everything everybody doing? Amen. Everything everybody is after. That's the broad gate. Amen. That's the wide gate. He done told us that what it is. Amen. That's why we can't get ourselves, young people, you can't get yourself all involved and want to do everything out there in the world and want to be a part. Because that's the broad gate. Yes. That's the gate that everybody want to go to. That's the easy gate. Mm -hmm. See, the narrow gate, you got to put off. Amen. Put on. That's right. Is that right? The broad gate, you just walk in the counter. That's right. When it comes to that narrow gate, That's right. you got to, you know, got to trim yourself down. That's right. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Read that again, Brother Corey. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For why is the gate? Wide is the gate. And broad is the way. Wide is the gate and broad is the way. That lead to destruction. That lead where? To destruction. So you, you, you want to follow after everything, the broad gate, the easy way, not the suffering way, not the denying way. 
That's the broad way. My Lord. Oh, many, many going that way. That's right. Doing as they want, like they want them. Don't have to fear God. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Killing, stealing, all kind of things in the broad gate. Mm -hmm. But the narrow gate is different. Right. When you want to live holy, live like God say, it's a difference. That's why he said, put a difference between holy and unholy, clean and unclean. And being holy people, we just can't do any and everything. Amen. Amen. And that's what seems to be difficult for people to understand that this is God. It ain't my way. It's the way God has it established. Yes. And in order to get to that narrow gate, we're going to do just what God said to you. Amen. Amen. What he said? Amen. In a year and at a straight gate. In a year at the straight gate. For wide is the gate. Wide is the gate. And broad is the way. Broad is the way. That leadeth to destruction. That leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in there at. And a lot of them won't go in that way. Oh. Keep reading the book. Man, because straight is the gate. Why? Because straight is the Listen, straight is the gate. Come straight. You know, when people talk in general, they be talking, and they come straight with it. You know, just bring it just like it is. Right. Don't give me no detours. Don't give me no crooks and bends. Come straight. Amen. Is that right? Oh. Sometimes people say, I want it straight. And then they get upset when it comes straight. Right. But when it comes to God, he's saying us, come straight. Amen. Straight is the gate. This gate is not going to change. It's not going to change in diameter. It's not going to change in height. It's going to be the straight gate. What he says, Corey? Because straight is the gate. Because straight is the gate. Narrow is the way. Narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. That lead where? Unto life. As old that is so good. Straight and narrow lead to life. Mm -hmm. Broad lead to destruction. My Lord. So everything you see people doing and going after, you ask yourself, is that the straight gate? Is that the straight way? But when people are humbling themselves and striving to be holy and be like God, say, that's straight. That's the one God pleases. Me. Amen. See, God is the straight gate. Amen. And he tells us, straight is the gate, narrow is the way that leads us to the light. And then there will be a few that find it. Oh, Lord. Yes. Read the book. Amen. Beware of false prophets. Well, one thing you want to be, beware of false prophets. Got a lot of them out here. Got a big church and saying a lot of things. Amen. He said, beware of false prophets. What a false prophet. He, he, he's going to not, he's going to water it down. He's not going to tell you the truth. A real man of God got to tell you the truth regardless of who you hurt, who it hurts. Amen. Got to, when it comes to telling the truth, Amen. you got to speak the truth. Amen. Oh. Yeah, that's why God tell, he said, a bishop can't be greedy of filthy lures. A man of God can't be greedy of money because people can pay you so much money, give you so much, and then you 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 water down That's what right. you should be telling. Them. My Lord, my Lord. But you can't water it down. You got to tell people the truth. Amen. Amen. If they give, if they don't give you nothing, they, if they give you ten thousand dollars, you still got to tell the truth. Amen. A hundred thousand, you got to tell the truth. My Lord. Ain't that something? Yes. What he says for? Amen. Beware of false prophets. Beware of false prophets. Which come to you in sheep clothing. They come to you in sheep clothing. But inwardly they are raving the wolves. See, it's what's in a man. <laughs> See, if truth is in you, truth's going to come out you. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Yes. But it's what's in a man. See? That's why I got to pray that God will bless and give us truth. Give us that what we need. Amen. Pray for me. I need your prayer. Amen. Amen. That when it comes to me speaking, I ain't trying to be like this person, that person. But one thing I want to be, I want to be like Jesus and tell the truth. Yes, Amen. man. I got to tell, I got to tell the truth. Lord Amen. Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Huh? Yes. He, 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 we read about it in Ezekiel, what Ezekiel said. Yes. The 33rd chapter of Ezekiel. Wow. I got to speak, the man got to speak the truth. Yes. Any brother that's living for the Lord, any brother that's ministering, you may not know it as much as somebody else. But when it comes to the truth, it's the truth. Yes, sir. Is that right? One thing about it, people don't love the truth. See, if you love the truth, the scriptures say, great peace have they that love thy law, Amen. and, and nothing shall offend. 
Yes, sir. Why should you say you love the Lord and somebody tell you the truth and you getting upset? Amen. You say you love the Lord. Lord. I want to do what God said and then somebody tell you the truth Amen. and then you're going to get mad. Right. Isn't that something? Yes. You don't love no truth. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Right quick in Ezekiel. Hold on your point there because I just want to let you see where the, where the preachers are. Ezekiel 33, get at verse 1. What it say? Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Lord, What? Son of man. Son of man. Speak to the children of thy people. Speak to the children of thy people. And say unto them. Say unto them. When I bring the sword upon the land. When I bring the sword. When the Lord brings the sword upon the land. If the people of the land take a man of their coast. If the people of the land take a man of their coast. Take a preacher. Take someone that's supposed to be ministering to them. A man of their course. And set him for their watch. And then set him for a watch. Mm. I was talking, talking to somebody tonight. I think it was my son, I think. You know, talking about preachers. I said, a lot, a lot of preachers get paid. Mm -hmm. They get paid big money. Is that right? Thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. yes. Is that right? right. And yes. people sit up in the church all kind of ways. When they come to the truth, you got to tell the people the truth. Yeah. And they're right. Well, I don't get paid. Is that right? No, I, I ain't. I, nobody paying. My utility bill, nobody ain't paying my life bill, nobody ain't giving me no salary. I don't get none of that. Amen. Is that right? Amen. There are preachers that get that. Amen. 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 And people don't mind giving. Amen. But what he says here, Son of man, speak to the children of our people. Yes. And say unto them, Say to them, When I bring the sword upon the land. When I bring the sword upon the land. If the people of the land take a man of their coast, yes, and set him for their watch, set him for their watchman. If when he see it, the sword, see the preacher going to be watching, amen. Tell you what's right and wrong, amen. Is that right? Amen. Tell you you're right, that that's right or that's wrong. No, you shouldn't do that. Amen. A lot of people take it like, okay, well that just he's just saying that. No, the preacher that's going to preach the gospel tell you the truth of God, and it's up to you to do it. Amen. Getting it off of him. That's right. Whatever the scriptures say, do. And the preacher tells you what to do. You got that to do. It's on you. Let's hear it. That's what he said. If when he see it, the sword come yes. upon the land. See the sword coming. He blow the trumpet and warn the people. So a sword coming to devour on us. Amen. See the sword coming upon the land. Amen. Just like when the when the preacher preach, preacher talking about lesbian, gays, transvestite, all this stuff, and, he, and 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 scared to say something. Amen. <laughs> well, you got to tell the people that's not of God. Amen. It's not of God because it's something coming one day you're gonna wish mm. you wouldn't have never done what you're doing. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Because it's destruction coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What he said? Then whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet, whoever hears the sound of the trumpet, what scripture say? Cry out! Spare not. Yes. Lift up your voice as a trumpet. Did he say so? Amen. Show the people. They're a church House of Jacob. Their sin. The preacher is showing you sin. Though you want them, you don't want to see it. Is that right? Amen. People don't want to see their sin. Because they enjoy sin. Yeah. But it's the preacher's job to show you Lord your transgression. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. What he says is Then whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet. Whoever hears the sound of the trumpet. And take it not warning. And take it not. You know what he said? You know what he said? He that hears the sound of the trumpet. Sometimes preacher preacher says, Why he preaches so mean? He just blowing the trumpet. Amen, amen. Is that right? Amen. He just blowing the trumpet so somebody can take warning. Yes. What he says? And take it not warning. And take it not warning. If the sword come and take him away. If the sword come and take him away. His blood shall be his blood shall be upon his own head. His blood. His blood. See, the, when you're hearing the truth and you don't take heed to what the truth say, it's not on the preacher because he done told you what to do. Amen. You can't come with your own thoughts, your own ideas. You got to say, Lord, help me to obey according to the truth. Amen. It's not on the preacher. He done told you what to do. Amen. Case of what he, he, didn't, he didn't sound like so and so. He didn't, <laughs> yeah, you heard it, did you? Once you say, he that has an ear. Didn't you say so? Oh. Let him hear what the Spirit said. This is all the Spirit talking. Oh. The Spirit come. Oh. The Spirit searching out. Oh. The Spirit trying to save you. Oh. The Spirit wants you to obey. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. It's the Spirit. What he said? He heard the sound of the trumpet. Oh, heard the sound of the 
right. It took not warning. And didn't take warning. His blood should be upon you. His mm. blood. Mm. Your blood on you. You didn't hurt. A lot of y'all done heard the gospel. Mm -hmm. You didn't heard what you're supposed to do. Your blood ain't the blood ain't on the preacher. Your the blood is on you. Oh. Like what he says? But he that taketh warning. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. You're delivering yourself. Amen. Whenever you hear the word, repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, live holy, strive to do what God said. You you you're delivering yourself. Mm -hmm. You're doing what God said. It's delivering you. Amen. You are delivering yourself when you obey what the word says. Amen. Ain't that a blessing? My Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Don't you want to do what God said? I'm going to be delivered, don't you? Amen. Amen. What he said? But if the watchman see the sword come. All right, let's see about the watchman. He see the sword. He see the destruction. He see the thing that's going on. And what happened? And blow not the trumpet. And then don't blow the trumpet. And the people be not warned. See, the, the trumpet is, is to get your attention. Is that right? You know how, you know how when a certain storm is coming and a, a, a hurricane or tornado, they got certain things. They got certain sound. Amen. And certain sound is to get your attention so that you can do what you need to do in order to be prepared for the storm. Amen. Well, the, 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 the preacher blows the trumpet so that you can prepare yourself to get yourself right before the coming of the Lord. Amen. And a lot of us have a lot of time. Once people say, God ain't always striving the man. That's right. I ain't just give you time, 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 time. And when it's get to the end, you say, well, Lord, I, I repent. I want to be back. I know it ain't going to be that way. Yes. You got time now. Amen. Amen. What he said? But if the watchman see the sword come. Watchman see the sword come. And blow not the trumpet. And he don't blow the trumpet. And the people be not warned. And the people be not warned. the sword come. And the sword come. And take any person from among them. Listen, I hear the preacher. And take any people or anyone from among them. He is taken away in his iniquity. And then he's taken away in his iniquity, in his sin. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Did y'all hear that? Amen. The blood he will require the watchman's hand. Oh, Amen. So you're in a place you got to tell the people what's right. That's right. Tell them what the truth is. And then you know you can say something about it and you don't say nothing. The blood is on the preacher. Amen. Ain't that something? And somebody Amen. be taken among you. You got a chance to tell somebody what they need to do and then they die. And you could have told them. Oh, Lord. And you don't say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. Lord help me to say what I need to say. Amen. Sometimes people think you be mad, you be angry. But you, you, you got to get it. I got to get that blood off me, man. Oh. I'm trying to clean myself. That's right. I'm trying to put it. I'm, you know, Moses, when he preached the gospel, he took the, 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 the hyssop and dipped it in blood and water and sprang it. It's off me. It's on you. That's right. It's on you now. That's right. It's what you going, what are you going to do? But if the preacher preach, the way he says, there's many false prophets in you. Amen. If the preacher preach and then don't tell the people mm -hmm. what they need to hear, then the blood is on them. What else he said in that time? Verse 7. What does it say? So thou, O son of man, yes. I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Set thee a watchman for the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth. Hear the word at my mouth. And warn them from me. And warn them from who? Me. The warning comes from God. Mm -hmm. Ain't that all right? Amen. 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 I like said earlier about the, the GPS and the, the Google. You, you ask Siri which way to go. Now God will tell you which way you should go. The warning comes from him. Is that all right? Amen. Yes. All right, go ahead. Matthew 7, chapter, verse 15. What is that? Beware of false prophets. Beware of false prophets. Which come to you in sheep clothing. Yes. But inwardly they are raving and wood. Inwardly they are raving and wood. You shall know them by their fruit. Uh-huh. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. Every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Yes, sir. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. A good tree can't bring evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. All right. 
Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. See what happened? Uh -huh. So we got to bring, we got to bring forth fruit. My Lord. Is that right? Amen. The fruits of the Spirit has to be displayed in our life. Amen. Yeah. And the Lord help us to yes. be able to bring forth yes. the fruits of the Spirit in our life. Yes. Is that right? Amen. Amen. And we know what the fruits of the Spirit are. We've heard what they are. Yes. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Amen. Verse 20. Wherefore well, by their fruits ye shall know. Wherefore well, by their fruits you shall know. Read. Not everyone that saith unto me. Not everyone that saith to me. Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. You hear that? Mm -hmm. A lot of people saying, Lord. Mm -hmm. People singing songs, bouncing around. Mm -hmm. Some people bouncing around. Got these little music. And sometimes people got their, they got lights going on now. Mm -hmm. When they say in gospel, like they used to have when we was in the club. Mm -hmm. They bouncing around, shirts all out, and mm -hmm. all that stuff. They say, saying to the Lord. Calling the Lord name, uncle. That's right. What did the scripture just say? Yeah. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Oh, read. But he that doeth the will he of the Father. He that doeth the will of the Father. Which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Lord, you call, we got something to do. My Lord. Oh, Everybody got something to do. Yes. Amen. Is that right? We got, we got to strive to do with the Father. The will of the Father. Yes. Is that right? Amen. Not his will that any should perish. Is that right? We got to have love. We got to have peace. We got to have joy. We got to have what it takes in us to do the will of the Father. Brothers and sisters, every one of you, every day of our lives is to walk pleasing in the sight of the Lord. Amen. I don't care who you are. You're supposed to ask the Lord, Lord, help me to walk pleasing in the sight of the Lord. Yes. Not to walk any kind of way. What's going to say? Not walk circumspectly, not as a fool. But why? You got to keep your mind on the Lord. You got to keep your desire. Lord, help me to do your will. Yes. Is that right? Amen. Every day. All right, go ahead, Corey. Verse 22. Let's hear it. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Lord, have we said something in your name? And in thy name have cast out devils. How we keep, oh, did what? Hmm. Have cast out devils. So I can say, well, that man got to have God. He hmm. cast out devils. Lord Jesus. Lord, he said that. This, you see how straight it is? Yes. So that I cast out the devil. Well, okay, you cast out the devil. But what's in you? That's mm -hmm. right. Sometimes people take the name of the Lord because the Lord will honor his name. Amen. Is that right? Amen. But what are you mm -hmm. doing? What are your actions? How is your life? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Amen. You cast out the devil, then you do another thing that's not, that's not right, that's contrary to the will of God. God's not being glorified. Amen. We got to be careful. Ain't nothing wrong with casting out devil, but he done said it already. A lot of them it said cast out devil. That, 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 that sounds like, Lord, you mean to tell me I'm casting out devil, I'm doing all this, and I'm still not pleasing you? That's right. It's a straight way. Amen. What he said? Amen. He said, and in thy name, doing many wonderful I've works. I've done many wonderful works. And I will profess unto them. And I, then will I profess unto them. I never knew you. I never knew you. Depart from me. Depart from me. Ye that work iniquity. Ye that work iniquity. Continue to read. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine. Uh-huh. And doeth them. And doeth them. I will liken him unto a wise man. Okay, so it's all about what? Doing. Amen. Let's do what we know to do. Yes. Encourage one another. Do what God says. Amen. Have love. Do the things that's right in the sight of God. Amen. He that doeth. Read, read the book. Amen. Therefore, whosoever hear these things of mine. Hear these things of mine. And do with them. And do with them. I will liken him unto a wise man. Yes. Which built his house upon a rock. Yes, sir. And the rain descended. Rain descended. And the floods came. The floods came. And the winds blew. Yes. And beat upon that house. Yes. And it fell not. Amen. You got to be on a solid foundation. Uh -huh. My Lord. You got to look to the Lord, pray, seek the Lord, ask God for help. Yes. Because the wind's going to blow. Amen. Yeah. It's going to be some child talking to my son. I said, son, yeah. talking to my grandson, my youngest son. I said, listen, don't never get to a point in your life where you want to take your life. Amen. Don't never, don't never let the enemy just conquer your That's mind, right. your thought. Yes. Young people, everybody, don't Amen. let him just get you to the point that I don't, I don't care, I give up. 
You know, it was, it was very destructive. Somebody showed me something of this man, young man took a gun, they showed it on, on YouTube. Shot it, said, see his blood just. Shot it, I said. So people, sometimes people think that that's something good to do. Yeah, Lord. We live in a town, they think that that's, yeah, I'm gonna go out and stop. You, you going out and go to hell. My Lord. Ain't no style. You gonna go out and start killing yourself? How? What kind of style is that? That's foolishness. Amen. The devil get people's minds so captured mm -hmm. till they feel as though it's no more hope. Mm -hmm. Jump off the mountain. Take a bunch of pills. Mm -hmm. Kill yourself. Kill the family. Mm -hmm. And then turn around and kill them. That's the spirit of the enemy. Amen. That's why God said, "Repent." Be baptized, every one of you, yes. in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus. Lord Lord Jesus. Yes. And get the Holy Ghost. Lord Jesus. Amen to the enemy. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Take, you mean tell me taking your life? You don't give life. That's right. But you just gonna take your life? No. Lord. Don't never get to that point. I don't. That's why the scriptures is written: cast all your care upon me. Didn't he say? No, no, no. Yes, he did. I can't for you. But see, people get to the point, I just I just can't take it. Mm -hmm. The Lord can take it. You ain't got no problem that God can't solve. Amen. 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 The scripture said, when the enemy shall come in at the flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up the sky. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to get rough on it. I'm going to get rough everybody. Yes, Young people, old people, everybody. Yes, Lord. Get to the time where the enemy is pressing. Yes, pressing in your mind. Yes. That's why he said, he give perfect peace yes, to whose yes, mind is standing. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. To my stay on the Lord. Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. What he says, Amen. Yeah. And the rain descended. Rain descended. And the floods came. Flood came. And the winds blew. Yes. And beat upon that house. Yes. And it fell not. And it fell not. For it was founded upon the rock. Founded upon the rock. That's what we got to build on the rock. Yes. Who is the rock? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is the rock. Yes. yes. Yes, read the book. And everyone that hear these things, everyone that hear these things of mine, and doeth them not, doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, that, like a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. Built his house on the sand. And the rain descended. The rain descended. And the floods came. It's gonna be time that things gonna come. That's right. But if we're on the solid foundation. See, we got to build on a solid foundation. Lord. Once we say we are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ Himself be the chief cornerstone. That's right. I know things come upon us all, y'all. Amen. Is that right? Yes. Like my son, we was talking today, he talked about Adam. He said, Adam, Adam didn't know dead or something he said, but Adam had peace. Is that right? We get ourselves so involved in things in the world. We get ourselves overwhelmed with debt and all that. Then we we lose our job and all kind of things come up. Then we want to do something to ourselves. We feel that there's no more hope. Sometimes people put their own self in those kind of situations. Amen. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. Amen. Because you want so much. The scripture says that which is wanting. You cannot be known. Sometimes people want so much. Amen. Well, I want this. I'm working. I should get that. Yeah, then you lose your job, then what? Right. Mm -hmm. Now you're pressured. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Amen. What you gonna do? You're pressured from your wife, you're pressured from your husband, children pressure. What you gonna do? You feel as though the best thing to do is to take yourself out of here. But that's not the best thing to do. No. The best thing to do is look to the Lord Jesus. Amen. Everybody need the Lord Jesus. Yes. 
Huh? Everybody needs Jesus in their life. Amen. They're right. Amen. The Father loved us enough to send His Son. His Son obedient enough to die for us. Yes. There, we got to look to the Lord Jesus. Amen. And we got, how we got to look by faith. faith. It's a faith way. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Read the book. And the rain descended, and the floods came. Yes. And the winds blew. The, the floods came. Mm -hmm. And the winds blew. The wind blew. And beat upon that and house. Beat upon that house. And it fell. And it fell. When troubles, time come, if you're not stable, if you're not in the Lord, even the people of God, we got to make sure we ain't. Man. Yes. Some things, yes. you know, you still flesh now. Yes. And flesh is weak. Man. And flesh is sin. We got to make sure you're in the Lord. Yes. Got to call upon the name of the Lord, the one that the power is in. Yes. Can't get discouraged. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Husband, love the wife, wife, encourage your husband. Or you can discourage them and make you just feel some, some kind of way. Young people, be encouraged. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can get everything you want. Amen. Is that right? Mm -hmm. If you don't get it, still, thank God for, for life. Don't get it. Well, you didn't get this. It's just so much. That's right. <laughs> they try to pressure you, yes. your minds and your thoughts. Yes. Help us, Lord. Is that right? That's right. Jesus. What he says, Corey? Yes. He said, in the in the in the rains descended. Rain descended. The floods came. Floods came. And the winds blew. Winds blew. And it beat upon that house. Beat upon the house. And it fell. Beat upon the house. Yes. You know, there are things that come upon you. Beat upon you. Amen. Beat upon your mind. Amen. Amen. Beat upon your thought, don't it? Yes. It make you feel as though you want to give up. Yes. Oh Lord. Get things hot. Yes. Is that right? That's why the scripture say, when the enemy come in as a flood. The Lord, the Spirit of God, will lift up a standard. Lord. We got to look to the Spirit. Yes. We got to look to the Lord Jesus and call upon Him. Is that right? And draw nigh to Him. There's power. The scripture says, the name of the Lord is a strong town. The righteous run into it. Yes, and say, you got to learn to call Jesus. Yes. Jesus. 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 Troubles come, just keep calling. Don't say give up. Just keep calling. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He said, draw nigh to me. I'll draw nigh to you. What he said. Amen. And the house, he said, they beat upon that house. Beat upon the house. And it fell. And it fell. And great was the fall of and it. And great was the fall of it. Amen. All right, the last two verses says. And, G and it came to pass uh -huh. when Jesus had ended these things. And Jesus had ended these things. The people were astonished, at his, were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. So we got to look to Jesus. Yes. He's the one. Hallelujah. We got to look to him by faith. Amen. I know sometimes, you know, Hallelujah. sometimes things get to the point that I don't see nothing. Well, faith is something that things hope for. Mm -hmm. You know, we call on Jesus hoping that things will be better. Yes. Hoping that we can be delivered. Amen. And you can. We just got to have faith and trust in him. Mm -hmm. And God, he will deliver because he is a deliverer. Mm -hmm. May God ever bless you. Thank you, my beloved brother. Mm -hmm. May God ever bless all of you and keep you yeah. is our prayer. Yes, that being all, let us stand. Yes, sir. Is the bad Oh, you can travel. Yes, sir. You can travel. All right. Amen. Now, unto him that is able to keep your phone, and your phone to the presence of his glory, and exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and ever. Let us all say together. Amen. 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 Amen.